listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. In large cities, for instance London, and crowded places such as airports and stations, there is the risk of theft. We do not want you to suffer the distress of losing important documents and valuables as soon as you step onto British soil. So here are some important do's and don'ts. Don't carry more cash than you need for daily expenses. If you stay at a hotel, do ask the manager to keep large sums of cash, documents and valuables in the hotel safe and give you a receipt for them. This is a free service. If cash is stolen, it is very unlikely to be recovered. Do keep separately a note of the serial numbers on your traveller's cheques, so if they are lost you can inform your bank. Do take particular care of bank and credit cards. Do carry wallets and purses in an inside pocket or a handbag. Don't ever leave a bag unattended and make sure it is securely fastened when you are carrying it. Do carry jewellery and valuables such as cameras, radios and typewriters on you or with you and keep a note of any serial numbers. Do take special care of your passport, travel tickets and other important documents. Documents are at risk particularly at airports and stations where it is obvious that most people will be carrying them. Do make a note and keep it in a safe place of the number of your passport, its date and place of issue. This makes replacement easier if you are unlucky enough to lose it. If you don't want to carry heavy luggage around with you, you can leave it in a luggage office at most large stations and pick it up later. Keep the receipt so that you can reclaim your luggage. Check the opening hours or you may find your luggage locked away when you need it again. If you lose any of your luggage in transit, take this up immediately with the officials of the airline or shipping line. But don't worry too much. 98% is found within three days. If you lose anything, go first to the lost property office at the airport or station, as it may have been found and handed in. If you lose your luggage in the street or suspect it has been stolen rather than gone astray, find the nearest policeman who will advise you what to do. That is the end of part four. You now have half a minute to check your answers.